Lastly, in fourth place, The Matrix. Not to be confused with the groundbreaking movie. We are talking about this guy. A groundbreaking visualization. What is it good for? One way you can use it is as a table to organize information and solve problems. It helped us with the census taker problem before. It's also the perfect tool for solving the so-called Einstein's puzzle. Here is the puzzle. The Englishman lives in the Red House. The Swede keeps dogs. The Dane drinks tea. The greenhouse is just to the left of the white one. The owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. The pell mell smoker keeps birds. The owner of the yellow house smokes tanghills. The man in the center house drinks milk. The Norwegian lives in the first house. The blend smoker has a neighbor who keeps cats. The man who smokes blue masters drinks beer. The man who keeps horses lives next to the downhill smoker. The German smokes prince. The Norwegian lives next to the blue house. The blend smoker has a neighbor who drinks water. Now the question for us is, who keeps fish? I mean, you can try it in your head or write it down. Well, it is already written down and it is not helpful. It is actually when we start to visualize it in a special way, as a table or a matrix, that we can see the magic happen. Feel free to hit the pause button and give it a try. Alright, so how do we solve this? First of all, let's not panic and let's just go through it one by one and use our pen and paper. So the Englishman lives in the red house, the Swede keeps dogs, the Dane drinks tea, so they all have these different characteristics. So maybe let's use a table to capture all that info. Let's have a table with five columns, one for nationality, one for the color of the house, uh, one for the pet, uh, one for drink and one for the brand of the cigarettes that they smoke. Let's just go through the information one by one and just put it into our table. The Englishman lives in the red house. The Swede keeps dogs. The Dane drinks tea. The greenhouse is just to the left of the white one. It's not really something that we can put into our table right away. The owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. Again, we wouldn't really know who that is at this point. Pellmell smoker keeps birds. Owner of the yellow house smokes downhills. The man in the center house drinks milk. It looks like there is a lot of information connected to the placement of the house. So maybe that's something that we could keep track of as well, maybe with a table. Let's assume that the houses are next to each other and we will see if that works for us or not. So there are five houses, so let's just have five columns. And let's go back to point four. The greenhouse is just to the left of the white one. That means that the greenhouse could be here, here, here or here. There's just no other option, right? And the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. Right, maybe let's just go through all the points and see what other info we can use right away. Pellmell smoker keeps birds. The owner of the yellow house smokes downhills. The man in the center house drinks milk. Okay, that's something we can use. That means that that means that the greenhouse cannot be in the center, right? Because the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. So we can cross that option out. The Norwegian lives in the first house. So this is sort of like our helper table that we can use later on to fill out our main table above. The blend smoker has a neighbor who keeps cats. The man who smokes blue masters drinks beer. The German smokes prince. And the Norwegian lives next to the blue house. So we know that there is a Norwegian and that he lives in the first house. So now we know that the second house must be blue. So the first house cannot be green and the second house cannot be green as well, right? So we can cross those options out as well. So now we almost know the sequence of all the houses. All right, so we know where the blue, green and white houses are. The owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. And we also know that there are two other houses, red house and yellow house. And we know that the Englishman lives in the red house. So the Norwegian cannot live in the red house, so he must live in the yellow house. So now we know who drinks milk. It must be the Englishman.
because the man in the center house drinks milk. It should be easier now. The owner of the yellow house smokes dunghills, so that must be the Norwegian. The man who smokes blue masters drinks beer. That must be the Swede, right? Because we know what the German and the Norwegian smoke. And we know what the English and the Dane drink. So the only option left is for the Swede to smoke blue masters and drink beer. Now, the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. So we now know it must be the German guy, right? Because the Norwegian lives in the yellow house. Since we only have one drink left, it must be the Norwegian who drinks water. The man who keeps horses lives next to the Dunhill smoker. And we know that the Norwegian is the Dunhill smoker and he lives in the first house. So the guy who keeps horses and smokes Dunhills must be in the blue house. That cannot be the Swede because he keeps dogs and that cannot be the English guy because he lives in the center house. That leaves us with the Dane. So now we know that the Swede lives in the White House. The Pelma smoker keeps birds and we know what everyone smokes except for the Dane and the English guy. But the Dane keeps horses, so we cannot keep birds, so it must be the English guy. The blend smoker has a neighbor who drinks water, so the Dane must be the blend smoker. And the blend smoker has a neighbor who keeps cats. The blend smoker is in the blue house, so his neighbors are the English guy and the Norwegian. The English guy keeps birds, so it must be the Norwegian who keeps cats. So finally, we have our answer. It's the German guy who keeps fish. So that was a fun puzzle, and my brain hurts already. This matrix table format can help us in more serious matters as well. It can even help us to solve an investigation.